to start by looking at how to plan your presentation. And here, I'd like to mention three points. Your purpose, your audience, and the setting for the preparation. Before I begin, I should point out that when people advise students about planning presentations, they usually include suggestions about how to select and narrow down a topic. Now, while this is of course important, for the purposes of this presentation today, I'm going to assume that this has already been de be decided, either by you or your tutor. So I'll assume that you've chosen a topic, carry out the research, and now you're ready to begin the process of planning a presentation. Okay, the first thing that you have to consider in the planning process is the purpose of your presentation. There are two ways in looking at the purpose. The first is the general purpose of the presentation. In other words, do you want to inform, entertain, persuade, and so on? I guess the general purpose of our presentation is to inform or enlighten. As well as thinking about the general purpose of your presentation, you need to think about its specific purpose. And by this, I mean what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve. Essentially, this involves asking why. Why am I giving this presentation? 